This, believe it or not, is the latest in non-lethal audio weaponry. Apparently, this piece of sound kit can be used to stop in their tracks even the most enthusiastic undesirable, without the need for an undertaker. Inside are an array of speakers and magnets that phase and focus the sound waves into a narrow beam of super strength sound. This means sound can travel huge distances without any distortion. But for a truly scientific experiment, we need a truly scientific guinea pig. Dallas? Yes, can I can hear you loud and clear. Um, what exactly are we doing? I've positioned Dallas 200 metres down that way. We're going to turn the sound on him and he's going to vocalise exactly what he's experiencing. Dallas? So all you have to do is try and make it to my position here. You'll hear a warning, ignore that, continue walking. <laughs> Then I'll see if we can stop you by using sound alone. <laughs> OK, I'm going I'm to ignore warnings. Go to radio silence now. <laughs> I just know this is going to be painful. I just know my insides are going to be melted or something. Vessel on my port beam. You are approaching a US Navy vessel. You are advised to operate at the minimum <laughs> safe speed and to maintain a safe course. Alter course to starboard and That's just annoying. Speed. That's not a warning. That's just annoying. If you do not comply, you may be subject to arrest or other enforcement action. Dallas has now ignored an extremely clear You're warning, which means it's time zone. to up the ante. Now, in deterrent mode, this machine broadcasts an extremely focused stream of caustic sound. <laughs> which is really bad news for Dallas. Oh! Oh! God, that's horrible! Ow! I can't I'm reaching my limit now! <laughs> Jim, turn it off! That was pretty conclusive. Using the power of sound alone, Dallas could not get within 25 metres of me. Dallas, that was maybe a bit harsh. Oh, that was harsh. So but harsh. can the boys from Bang get one over on US Navy military grade technology? When I was at Salford University, yeah. had a chat with the guys there. They've got a whole bunch of scientific principles that they applied to building their quietest room in the world. Yeah. I've gleaned most of that knowledge Great. and translated it into making you your own personal like probably silent device. I love like a kind of like a super duper noise cancelling thing. Yeah. Introducing my portable high frequency blocking non resonating head shield. Okay, the name may need some work, but the science is solid. We have double glazing one layer of polycarbonate, a layer of air, another layer of polycarbonate another layer of air, then the face shield, then the cushioning, then Dallas's ears. Now Dallas, I appreciate you may not think this is enough and you've been through enough pain already. So I don't want you looking stupid ever again. One more thing. I learnt this from the anechoic chamber as well. They seem to be big into foam wedges. Okay, now this sounds like a car alarm maybe three or four streets away. But really, it's not painful at all, it's just there. Jem, you're brilliant. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> you genius! Oh! <laughs> it works, that's brilliant. You know those, um... Uh, headphones, those noise cancelling headphones that you get on aeroplanes. Perfect, job done, half the price, brilliant. I'm going to take this next time I fly. It just shows, using the scientific principles, it doesn't matter if it looks a bit cheap, it works. US military grade acoustic deterrent denied. <laughs>